Okay, finally, we have to install. Finally, we get to the part where we install virtual min. So I'm just going to copy that from there. So make sure your server is set up by the time you get to the stage of installing virtual min. Make sure that you have already set up your server like we've done in the previous videos. So that is a, the most important part, setting up your server. So as I said, my website is having problems with this dash dash. If I put dash dash in anything, it somehow strips out one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this, but I need to edit this so that it can look like that with two dashes without any spaces to let virtual me know that I, I want to install the lamp stack and I don't want to install lamp stack. So I'm going to paste that in there and uh, let me just come this way, delete that, delete that space there. I will add two hyphens, dash, dash. What is the problem here? Oh, it has come with some formatting. Let me just do that again. Remove any formatting there, enter. And now virtual main is asking you, is telling you that these are the supported operating systems and we are going to install the lamp stack for you. Okay, so it will require up to 650 MB of disk space. And do you want to continue? Absolutely yes. And then let's just let it run, let it run, install everything it needs. And then once everything is installed, we're going to come back here and we're going to see how we can add our first website. Now, before you even do that, let me come here. So the name of our host name was that. Let me go and add the DNS records for this on Cloudflare. And as I said, I will be using Cloudflare for my DNS. Okay. So I will add an A record, paste that in there with my IP address. So if you don't use Cloudflare for your for your DNS, I don't know, maybe just look through my videos. There's a video I did about how you can create child domains. So there, and I know right now the port used by, the port used by virtual main is not supported by Cloudflare. So I'm going to disable proxy and I'm going to save. And I want to do the same for, and let me add a CNAME record for www. So I will add a CNAME record for www, www dot panel dot panel one, and the target is panel one. Dot. I don't know whether I can add that. Is it possible to add that? Yeah, let's see if this is going to give me and I will unproxy that. Save. And yeah, you can see it as automatic. So you can use art to replace the domain name anywhere. Instead of typing the domain name, just type art and it's going to get replaced with that with the domain name. So panel one, we've added that. And for this one as well, let's change the IP address because I see I was using it for a different tutorial at some point and this IP address is no longer available. So I'm just going to paste in the new IP address for a record. And I'm going to install WordPress here. I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress on that. And WW, instead of using, uh, instead of using an A record for WW, let me just use, let me use a CNAME record. So for WW, let me add a CNAME record, CNAME for WW, and the target is at. And that can be proxied because it will be accessible via the Cloudflare network. So this ones, I was probably using this for a different tutorial. So let me just delete them. JavaScript sample. I will delete the sample. This I was using for a different tutorial. 
this one as well i was using for a different tutorial so i'm just going to delete both of that now is there anything else that i need to add here there we have that and you know what i can also add mail let me add mail mail is it an a mx we already have that so i think mail will just use this it will automatically get get added here okay now the reason that i have chosen to install the reason that i have chosen to install bind which is used for dns is because it will automatically create some of these records for me and if those records are created i can just copy them okay if i ever need anything i can just copy them from there let's just wait for it to finish installing and then we're going to try and access we're going to try and access it for now i've, I've already changed the the ip address to reflect let's just see if nginx is already installed and set up so you can see nginx is already installed on our server let's just wait for it to finish installing and then we're going to log into virtual main and then you'll we'll see how to do the initial initial setup so this is a part that is very important if you paused and you didn't watch this part about dns make sure you watch it because this is how you'll make sure that your website is accessible on the internet so i'm using cloudflare but you can use any dns provider just in a similar way just add an a record for your website with your ip address and for your panel add the address there if you want to be able to access this and you want to create a let's encrypt ssl make sure you add ww and you add you add that record for that a record for that as well so you can also change the port i'm going to change the port to something that is accessible via cloudflare and once i do that you'll see that we can come in here and we can proxy it for now we won't be able to proxy any any traffic through this because cloudflare doesn't support the port that virtual main uses so let's come back and just give it time okay so you can see installation is complete everything is accessible so since i've already added the dns records for this i can access it using this however if you haven't added the dns records you can access virtual main directly using your ip address so i can access it using i can access it using this link because i've added the i've added the dns records on cloudflare so if i come back here i can just go to that site and it should give me that warning okay and this is just because that because this is a self self-signed certificate so i'm going to continue so you can log in using any of the root users that you have on your server and you do remember that we did set up a user called new user and that's the one i'm going to log in as new user you can also log in using root with with the credentials you got from here so i'm going to log in as new user and uh, the password was let me see there we go okay so now we are logged into virtual main now we are logged into virtual main and uh, we need to do post installation setup okay now this is just some questions that you're going to get asked so that virtual main can get set up with the best settings the best preferences based on your server so let's just click next to start this preload libraries so for me i'm going to choose no oh it's only 40 mb 40 mb so i'm just going to click yes anyway run email domain lookup server uh that i can choose no or yes if you have like two gigs of memory i mean this is this is very little so i can say yes to both of them and then if your system is going to host enable virus scanning keep using on demand scanner if you're going to use this to host websites maybe and you have enough ram make sure you choose this because it, this is very ram intensive but at least it helps to scan your email and that's very important if you're hosting other people's sites on virtual main the next step run spam assassin this one of course no that one i'll choose no and then go next 
but you can also choose yes if you're hosting other people's mail and you do have enough RAM. Run MySQL database server, absolutely, and run Postgres. No, I don't want to run Postgres. I just need my SQL, my SQL. And once I do that, okay, now we can set the MySQL password. So let me just copy this. You never know where you might need this. So this is a MySQL password for the root user. I will click next. Let me put that in here. You never know when you'll use it. Copy it somewhere and save it. Okay, so what next here? MySQL is configured. MySQL configuration size. So I'll just choose small system. I'll choose a small system, but if you do have a lot of uh, sites, especially WordPress, a big WordPress website, WooCommerce, <laughs> you probably need to go with huge system. This is going to optimize my scale for you. Okay. So for me, I'm just going to leave that, but uh, let me choose default. I don't know which, one's, which one is default, but I'll just leave it as default and then I'll go next. For DNS zones, primary DNS, okay, I'll choose that, but I'm not using my own website. I'm not using my own name servers, so it doesn't really matter because I'm using Cloudflare. So for this, I'm just going to leave it as it is, and then I'm going to click next. And then what else remains? Password storage mode. Of course, I want my passwords to be, to be encrypted, to be hashed. So I'm going to select that one. Make sure you read this carefully before you choose, you make a choice. Set up default virtual server. Yes, I want this to be my default virtual server. And then yes, with let's encrypt. So that's why I added the DNS record for WW and DNS records for WW panel and panel. Okay, this to make sure you add the DNS records for these two, because if you don't have those records, you won't be able to set up SSL and you won't even be able to log in on your server like that. So let's go next and let that happen. Okay, so there we go. Everything is done. So virtual main post installation configuration is now complete. Let me just click next so that it can do the final checks. And then you can do this recheck and refresh, refresh configuration. Let's just see your system has, which is at or above that virtual main is configured to set up DNS zone, but this system is set up to use itself as a DNS server. So I don't want to use that, but it doesn't really matter because right now, even if I create a new website, I'm going to add the DNS records myself. Uh, let me just relog this and see if we still get this not secure. So the first thing I want to do is, before I even go any further, the first thing I really want to do is, I want to come here under, where is it? Is it, let's see if it's under webmin. I need to change the port. I need to change. Okay, I'll do that in another in the next video. So I don't want the video to be too long. But anyway, at this point, even if you add a new website, so just a brief, if you want to add a new website, all you have to do is, you'll just need to come in here under virtual main and then click on create a virtual server that's going to set up a website so before you set up a website make sure that you give it dns records right there on cloudflare so really don't worry about the dns thing because you're going to use cloudflare but as for mail if you want to check the dns things the dns settings that you need to use uh is it here under server configurations yeah here under dns records so make sure so here you see we we have one website and that website needs to have need to have these records so the, this is why i installed bind at least it gives us the value that you need to have so you can just copy these values and add them to cloudflare like we've already added which one have we, we we've added an a record and then ww okay they chose to use an a record but i chose a cname you can add ftp record if you go there add an a record mx record have we added mx i don't think i've added mx you can add mx if you want to send mail with this if you want mail to be sent make sure you add an mx record let me just do this as an example before i end the video so i'm going to add panel one that mx and the record is going to be 
the record is going to be this copy. So let's come back here and I want to add an MX record for that subdomain. So just note that it is a subdomain. So here it will be panel one. And we need to add mail. Priority, I saw there the priority was five. So I'm going to save that. And so this, this is all you need to do. You just go into server configuration, DNS records, and you can copy, you can copy the records that you need to add to Cloudflare. This is why I actually added, I actually installed bind. I just decided to install everything with the virtual main for this reason. So even you can see here, you have SPF records. You can just copy this and you add them there. Is there direct SPF records or it has to be a TXT? Okay, you see, you can add it as an SPF record. So just copy that and you can do that. The next thing that I want to do in the next video is I want to come here and I want to change the port. So edit virtual server. Let's see if it has SSL. So it has Nginx SSL. Okay, so it has SSL. That means that I can add, I can change the port to a supported Cloudflare port. So in the next video, let's see how to change virtual main port so that it can use Cloudflare, a Cloudflare port port so that if people want to log into their websites, they can do so even if their websites are powered by, via Cloudflare. So let's see how to do that in the next video.